In the 1990s, there was nothing unusual about Fethullah Gulen and Recep Tayyip Erdogan exchanging smiles and kisses. Back then, Erdogan, now Turkish Prime Minister, was mayor of Istanbul. But 20 years on, the two men are bitter rivals. Gulen, a preacher and former imam, now lives in exile in the United States. It's from there that he runs a sprawling and influential movement he founded in the 1970s, a network that extends throughout Turkish society. Most children in Turkey attend the so-called Dersane, a network of Gulenist private schools offering extra classes. Here we don't just prepare for exams, we prepare for life. The pupils learn to anticipate situations which they'll be confronted with later in life. Health, law, not being corrupt, not stealing, self-composure. Here they learn how to be role models. The Dezani network gives Gulen's movement much of its influence. The community helped Erdogan win power in 2002. But since his government announced a crackdown on the schools, relations between the Turkish state and the Gulenists have descended into open warfare. Erdogan accuses them of being a state within a state and of masterminding corruption allegations against members of his inner circle. They wanted to uh, even increase their influence, so they asked for additional uh, positions within the government. And at some point, uh, this became uh, too much uh, for the government to accept. Uh, and then started uh, a battle of power uh, within uh, Turkey's institutions. An organization representing Gulenist heads of industry known as Tuscan, with some 54,000 members, says Erdogan has shown alarming authoritarian tendencies. In our opinion, they have tried to monopolize power. They don't accept the presence of any other groups, individuals or associations. The head of Sunday's local elections, the corruption scandals hanging over the government will loom large. Erdogan has already announced that he will stand down if his Justice and Development Party does not come out on top. But he's also promised that should they win, Gulen supporters will pay dearly for having destabilized his government.